Hello everyone, my name is Neha and I have created this channel to upload my projects. So today I'll be presenting my project on a priori. A priori algorithm, as we all know, is a classical algorithm in data mining. It is used for mining frequent item sets and relevant association rules. It operates on data set containing a lot of transaction, for instance, item bought by customers in the store. So I have a very similar project on that. Let's begin. Along with this, we'll also find the three important parts of a priori. As we all know, a priori has three parts, support, confidence, and lift. We'll also find the three in the upcoming cells. So let's begin by running the cells. So here I'll be installing my a priori library in order to use or install or uh, import the a priori function. Let's begin. So this was the first step of importing libraries. I have imported all the important libraries required for the project. Next is the data pre-processing phase. Uh, in this phase, I have taken my CSV file, and that's market basket. It consists of around 8,000 data. And I have displayed the first five rows of my CSV file. So the first row consists of all all the items bought by customer one, and the second consists of, of all the items bought by customer two. Basically, the data set contains details of each customer who purchased different stuff and wants to find the best association rule so that we can give them the best offers. By doing this, the owner of the shop can increase uh, their sale. So let's begin. The next step is um, uh, training the a priori model on the data set. So here we go. Okay. So now I have to visualize the results, right? So uh, here I have got the results, you can see. This is the relationship between two items, that's chicken and light cream. Then I have also found out the support, the confidence and lift. So I have to arrange this in a much more readable form. So let's go. Okay, so here I have displayed the result in a sorted form uh, by descending lift. You can see here, here we have the left hand side item, the right hand side item, the support, confidence and lift. So let's check this zeroth item. Uh, it is light cream and chicken. Here, the item based is light cream and the item added is chicken means if the customer buys light cream, it will have a very high chance of buying chicken with it and so on. And chance is 29%. As we can see here, the confidence is 0.29%. That means it has a chance of 29% of buying chicken along with the light cream. With this, we also have a support of 0.0045, means it appears in 45% of the transaction. So this is the way the shopkeeper can increase its sale by giving a buy one, get one free offers on these two items, as they are likely to be bought together. So uh, this is all. Uh, thank you so much for watching my project.